can you solve this math challenge? I tried to use Wolfram Alpha to get some answer to this equation. So I type 7th root of x plus 64 minus 7th root of x minus 65 equals 3. And Wolfram Alpha answers, there's no solution exists. So even Wolfram Alpha fails to answer this equation. So the question, can you solve this math challenge? And here's the question. So given that x is a real number that satisfies this equation, 7th root of x plus 64 minus 7th root of x minus 65 equals 3, then what is the value of x? So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right, so to answer this kind of question, so let's get our equation that we want to solve. And what we're going to do is to make this operation an addition. And to do that, let's have plus negative 1. Let's multiply this by negative 1. And that's legal. And take note, negative 1 or the seventh root of negative 1 is still negative 1. So we can put this negative 1 inside the 7th root and this will give us 7th root of x plus 64 plus 7th root of 65 minus x equals 3 and that is equivalent to the given equation. So now we will focus on this for some reason. So the first one, we will let the 7th root of x plus 64 be equal to a and b be equal to the 7th root of 65 minus x. And from here, we can say that our original equation becomes a plus b equals 3. Now, if we raise both sides by 7, we get a raised to the power of 7 equals x plus 64. And if we raise both sides by 7, we get b raised to the power of 7 equals 65 minus x. Now, notice we have positive x and negative x. So when we add a raised to the power of 7 and b raised to the power of 7, we get 64 plus 65 or simply equivalent to 129 and from here we will focus on these two equations and since x is a real number a and b are both real number as well now by observation take note when we get an answer of a comma b the other solution because this equation by symmetry the other solution is b comma a all right and now take note this 129 is super close to the 128 which is 128 is 2 raised to the power of 7 and this one we can rewrite this as 1 raised to the power of 7 therefore we can say one of the possible values of a comma b simply equivalent to 2 comma 1 or other solution 1 comma 2 but the question is it enough that our answer is based on observation? Now here's the question. Is it the only real solution for A and B? So let's answer this question. All right, so let's focus on these two equations. And to answer this, we will use some identities. So the first one, A cubed plus B cubed, we can rewrite this as A plus B cubed minus 3 times AB multiplied by A plus B because we have a given for a plus b. Another identity is a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power. We have a plus b raised to the p power minus 5 times ab multiplied by a cubed plus b cubed minus 10 times a squared b squared multiplied by a plus b. And the last identity that we need is a raised to the power of 7 plus b raised to the power of 7 equals a plus b raised to the power of 7 minus 7ab multiplied by a raised to the p power plus b raised to the p power minus 21a squared b squared multiplied by a cubed plus b cubed minus 35a cubed b cubed times a plus b. So let's use the first identity. Now we know for sure that a plus b is equivalent to 3. So we can replace a and plus b and a plus b. Now simplifying this, we have 27 minus 9ab. And we will set aside this result. Now we will do this 
a little bit faster. So let's get the second identity. Now we know AB is 3, A cubed plus B cubed is 27 minus 9 times AB, and A plus B is 3 also. And simplifying this, we get 243 minus 135AB plus 45A squared B squared minus 30A squared B squared. Combining like terms, we get 243 minus 135AB plus 15A squared B squared. Now let's set aside this result. And using the last identity, let's replace AB because we know AB is 3. A raised to the P power plus B raised to the P power is this expression. A cubed plus B cubed is 27 minus 9AB and AB is 3. Now, simplify this and combining like terms, this will give us 2187 minus 1701 AB plus 378 A squared B squared minus 21 A cubed B cubed. And we will focus on this result. Now from here, we know A raised to the power of 7 plus B raised to the power of 7 is 129. That is given. Now, combining like terms, this 129 and 2187, this will result to 2058. And take note, all of these numerical coefficients are now divisible by 21. So let's divide all of this by negative 21 to make this term positive. And from here, take note that all of this is in terms of A times B. We can rewrite this as AB raised to the power of 2, and this one is AB raised to the power of 3. So let T be equal to AB. So our equation now, rearranging some terms a little bit, we have T cubed minus 18T plus 81T minus 98. So now we have a cubic equation in terms of T. By the way, if X is real number, A and B are both real numbers, T is also a real number, must be a real number. And T is just A times B. Now, using some factoring techniques, we can factor this out nicely as t minus 2 multiplied by t squared minus 16t plus 49. It follows that t equals 2 and using quadratic formula to solve for t, we get t is equivalent to 8 plus or minus square root of 15. Now, since this is equivalent to t, we can say that this is also equivalent to ab. So ab is 2 or AB is equivalent to 8 plus or minus square root of 15. Now, using those results, we can now find the values of A and B because we know the product of A and B and we know the sum of A and B, which is 3. So using the Bieta's formula, we know the sum and the product. We can create a quadratic equation. Now, let's use a variable Y instead of X. So we have Y squared minus 3, which is the sum. 3y plus 2, which is the product, equals 0. And getting the discriminant for this, because we want a real value of a and b as well as x. So the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. b is negative 3. We have a is 1 and c is 2. And solving for the value of d, the discriminant, the discriminant is just 1. Or simply, we have a real value of y or A and B that satisfies this equation. And that's A and B are 2 comma 1 or 1 comma 2 because 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 times 2 is 2. Now, how about using the sum 3 and the product 8 plus or minus square root of 15? By the way, this answer is in our observation. All right, how about this? So using Beta's formula, we have a quadratic equation y squared minus the sum 3, 3y plus the product, 8 plus or minus square root of 15 equals 0. And using the discriminant again, if we substitute the value b, a, and c, and if we simplify this, no matter what, if this is positive or negative, the value of the discriminant is always less than 0. It means that there's no real solution for this quadratic equation, or there's no real value a and B that satisfies this equation. Therefore, the question, is it the only real solution for A and B? And the answer is yes.
that's the only real value of a and b that satisfies these two equations. So now let's proceed. If we know the value of a and b, we now know the value of x. But let's use the value of a because we get the same thing if we use the value of b. So now if a is 2, so we have 2 is equivalent to this expression, 7th root of x plus 64. Solving for x, we get x equals 64. That's the first real value of x that satisfies this equation. And even Wolfram Alpha cannot find this answer. And if a is equal to 1, so we have 1 equals 7th root of x plus 64. And we get that the value of x simply equivalent to negative 63. And that is our answer to this question. Therefore, given that x is a real number that satisfies this equation, 7th root of x plus 64 minus 7th root of x minus 65 equals 3, then the possible values of x, the real values of x that satisfies this equation are x equals 64 or x equals negative 63. And as always, we are done.